Oh, if you guys don't know the tweet, Bonfire's got a pin, I'm pretty sure. It's one of the funniest tweets in all of Melee. This, uh, we cannot. I cannot say it. We, I, we cannot we fully cannot, repeat it. I, in my head, I'm picturing it. But I, yeah, know. it's something about like, I wonder what it would be like to go to back, go back in, in time. time. Yeah, you know. And then, uh, you know, someone from back in that day saying some very choice words about the matter. Speaking the way they did speak back then, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's pretty oh funny. my god, that's, no, that's it. A, that's a so um, we don't have a feed of the game on our monitors right now. Yeah, we but, are. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of looking at. We're the, looking at the projector right now, which yeah. is chill. Because, which is chill. It's fine. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> the the whole alt side just literally blew up, which is why, like, stream went down and everything. Uh, so, unfortunate. Oh, that could have been a rest right there. Okay, it's back over here. I really like that they, uh, that Tommy didn't go for the rest off of the reaction tech chase uh -huh. and just went for the fares. Um, even though, like, it's low percent. Yeah, I think, you know, they're going to DI that in, and then you can just kind of do the rest of the pair. So smart stuff like that, like, obviously it looks like, oh, they didn't rest, and they could have, but it, Huff is more complex than I think people realize sometimes. Yeah, well, I was I was more off of the up air than the, than yeah. the RCC. I, I think well, that, I don't know, I wasn't even saying what we were, you were saying, I'm just thinking there's probably someone at home that's like, hey, they didn't do the rest, because, like, yeah. that is the number one way people engage with Huff. They'll be like... They caress that, and it's like <laughs> I I don't know. It feels hey, like I, I'm guilty. Okay, yeah. I've, I've I've been at home watching streams in my chair, eating popcorn, being like, I would have hit that. I, Meanwhile, I, it's like Zane Chamo Grand Finals. It's like, man, he missed that edge guard. What a scrub. Kind of bad, you know. <laughs> like, I mean, the thing is, I literally had this conversation this weekend. But imagine if you were watching like a Sheik tech chasing, you were like, but they could have re grabbed there. <laughs> like, if you like. Yeah. I know, I know. Duh, we, yeah. They know, everyone knows, you know, like. That is pretty funny. Like, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? You know, yeah. but to the whole whole uh, Melee community, so. Yeah. Anyways, Tommy's doing doing his MF thing, I will say. Um, definitely, oh, okay. I was, I, was, I, was, I was looking over for pronouns to make sure I wasn't misgendering, but we're good. Um, Are you yeah, on but Tommy's doing their thing. Uh, Tori's okay. trying to bring it back. Uh, oh, wow. Sorry, what? I guess but this matchup is rough. I, like, if Tommy would have grabbed ledge Boy, there, like, not? it might have just been the game, honestly. Like, either Tori goes to I'm ledge actually, and, like, gets, 20, gets, uh, gets ledge hog. Or you land on stage to get arrested. Like it's it's such a uh, horrendous mix up. Like a lot of characters can bully Sheik for trying to recover and like occupying ledge and then forcing them to go on stage. I don't think anyone does it better than than Tuff, honestly. Like if you recover the wrong way at any percent, you just explode and die, you know? Yeah, that's a good that's a interesting statement. I'm trying to think of like if I if I agree and if there's someone else that's like really really good at edge guarding her. I mean like Fox I is, guess, you know, Fox yeah, is incredible Fox is definitely at it. Good. Like even po like uh, speaking of while we're watching this, Bonfire uh, about to make a sick good. comeback. Yeah, no, like, this is like definitely claw this bad. Um, Tommy stopped getting rest and all of a sudden it's it's uh it's looking a lot oh. tougher. Okay. Okay. I like the pages on the top platform. Not a big deal so far you have to go back to ledge. Yeah. Ledge dash. What? Okay. Yeah, I, I that's, that's it. Oh wow. Not just send it upon. Slap in the corner. That's that's gonna be a, a kill relatively early. Like yeah. I think Tommy probably should have prioritized like staying in center stage and like to avoid it specifically that, but um I think was just trying to play it a little too safe and like not stand ground enough and just kind of bob and weave a lot. But either way, um Strong counter picks in this matchup, I will say. Well, pretty strong counter picks, I'd say. Um, I don't think uh, Sheik necessarily gets affected by Dreamline that bad, but we're not even going to Dreamline, so it doesn't matter. Reaction tech chase rest here? No. Oh, okay. didn't even go for it. Really slow on the down throw, which is kind of a little bit understandable because it's like kind of a weird throw timing, but. Yeah. Okay. Oh, didn't occupy ledge long enough. I think I think with a roll, you just like cover everything and then it are still able to rest. I think the bigger thing is you just need to uh, time your invincibility better so that you don't have to do the roll either. You can just like grab up. Like see, a yeah, couple no, of these edge guards have been around that. Like right yeah. there. Yeah, no, it, it is like extremely important versus Sheik. Like getting burned is really tough. Like, like again though, all, every three edge guard was all just like, you're just grabbing ledge. Too early. Yeah. That's all it is. That's it's like it is. if you wait a little bit longer and then you're invincible, now they're having to like contest around that. They're like, oh, I don't know if I can come back because Puff could just like back air me invincibly. 
Okay, this should be another down throw. Wow. Great TI. Yeah. 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 In incredible to like dodge that entire platform. <laughs> okay. Oh, didn't grab her. Okay, okay. That's just did a ledge dash and then like didn't really choose another option very quickly and uh, was able to get reversal there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, I think Bonfire has to be really careful on these low percent uh, down smashes. Because, like, you can get CC punished by, uh, by Puff pretty easily in, those, in that situation. Okay, good spacing right now from Tommy. Ooh! Yeah, and great call out on the, on the shield, shield grab right there. Okay. Still, though, we're kind of uh, in a spot where. Like one more hit, and then you got kind of most most setups will lead to a kill. Um, the main thing that Sheiks wants to do is just not play the way they normally do. I talk about this literally every time I see this matchup. Is that like this is a matchup? Okay, this should just be a charge up smash. Yeah. Um, this is a matchup where you can't play the Sheik that you know. You can't run in and grab. You can't be dash attacking the way you do. You you have to play a very very substantially different game. But Sheik actually has very good tools to still be like quite competitive against Pop. Yeah, I think uh, I don't know. A lot of people have strong opinions about this matchup. I think it's. I think like honestly, I think I, I do think Sheik wins. I think uh, she gets blown up in a lot of spots. But like. Puff having to contest with like her really long aerials um, and like even her like really big tilts, like it's pretty, it's honestly very difficult for Puff. Especially once you oh, get another Charge Dust Smash. Okay. Yeah, Charge Dust Smash is gonna do it, but I like the attempt on that. I, yeah, you I think the idea was that. right. You gotta go for that. Yeah, I, I, I do actually still think that Puff wins, but I, I think it's like. Uh, oh, oh, but caught the roll. That was actually sick. Yeah. yeah. That's the if you were if you were watching melee in like 2016, 2018, you should you you should know better than to ever roll in there versus Puff. Yeah. That's that that's like the H box that made him yeah that's that like made him the, the career thousands uh, of dollars yes, <laughs> yeah hundreds even you know like, <laughs> hundreds yeah. yeah I mean you know <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry <laughs> to the to the community for the, the, the dig. No, right. no, no, it's it's impressive that it's thousands, because he did it that many times. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Oh, okay. wow. Uh, probably just like a down throw fair. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, the most reliable percent you could get there is a uh, is a grab, one pummel, uh, buffer down throw into Nair. It's 25%. Okay. Yeah. And I watch. You, you don't get the positional advantage there if you're like close to the ledge, right? No, you don't, but like you can't really get a kill regardless. Like there, there's not a whole lot you can get there. And positional advantage isn't amazing at that percent because Puff has a billion jumps, you know? She <laughs> does, but I do think that like, so I agree with you to be clear. Yeah. I do think though that people, as a former Puff main, even Puff mains themselves will overstate how uh, impactful, or understate how impactful stage control is. Yeah. Like they'll be like, Puff doesn't care if she's cornered. Puff doesn't care if she's off stage. No, it's not nothing. Yeah, she does. It's, it's she not does. Nothing. Like, she definitely does. And I, I feel like even pro, uh, even pro players, even good Puff players, will kind of act as if that's not the case. And it's like, well, then how come when you were off stage, you took 60% or something like that previously, and you didn't have that issue? This will be a trade, but this is why the matchup is so difficult. It's just. No, oh, it's missed that. it. Oh, but get, doesn't end up mattering, up anyway. but still, like, a little bit of mental damage there. Yeah, that's a. Uh, Damn. Yeah, Tommy. Tommy's just clean, you know. Like, I I have a lot of experience watching this matchup because uh, I did a lot of commentating like J Flex Two Saint at uh, oh, at yeah, nightclubs. Yeah, like, you, oh, that was got there, eh? Like, that was fantastic. That was a huge catch. Oh my god. Oh, that's, that's like a catch early as well. Kill. Okay, doesn't get the up air though. Yeah, I think percent was a little too low to be able to like follow up off of it. I, I was thinking pound rest. I was think I think they were thinking pound rest as well, and so they didn't realize. You had to up air there, but you know, I hear the in your head, in your head, you're through. thinking to yourself, uh, like this is my moment. I gotta get the rest. Great DI again. Bonfire, she's got those. Like that, that has been established throughout the set. Not gonna be on the platform. Oh yeah, yeah. On the platforms is exactly where you want to be uh, in this matchup. Like you want to have that mix up of like whether or not I'm gonna be on, if I'm gonna drift in, back. You know, try to stay, stay safe and utilize all those like really long aerials. You know, like. I think uh, bonfire spacing with back air is like, especially at this percent where you can't CC it anymore, and like it's gonna do enough knockback to where you're just gonna win the interaction outright. Um, honestly, she should be back airing more. <laughs> I'm being completely honest. Yep. But, uh, wow, almost kill higher. That would kill. Yeah. yeah. Like, not even higher percent, like higher on the stage. 
Oh my god, what? Should maybe be a kill of a falling up here? Okay, no, just not enough time. Bonfire is like, why would you go for that, you freak? <laughs> okay. This is where Jab becomes really good, and this is where CC becomes really good to try to CC the Jab. Because yeah. everything else, like, CC wouldn't be good against, but you know that they're trying to get, like, that low risk setup. Nice. But Sheik is Sheik, she's got forward air. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a big moment in the set. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a swing game. Uh, this will determine like where we go, like who has counter pick advantage, and that can that can mean a lot in this matchup. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, no jumps. That's, That's it. it. No. The lift. The lift, guys. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Can't can't get too much off of this. Like again, 25% did, did the exact punish. But uh, yeah. All I mean, of a matters sudden, in the sense that that would have been the game, though. Like that. Holistically, yes, it does matter. In that moment, it doesn't matter that. Much. It matters a little bit. But you just gotta. That just means that Tommy has to find another opportunity to win this game, and Tori's got another shot. Oh, Which is huge because she's not gonna, gonna get kill. the up air now. Oh yeah. my god! So, I don't know. Like that was a big moment. That was like, that was big because she didn't die. But uh, someone's yeah. gotta gotta call Nintendo and ask about that one. Yeah, I didn't think the huh. I didn't think that uh I think with full DI out you don't you don't get up air, but maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. Maybe that was no, like a perfect air just kills like really early. Yeah, no, I mean uh, I know the up air is like okay. good, but okay, we're gonna see that nair at this time, yeah, because yep, they're not 25%. in a positional. Yeah. I don't they're know not that. in a positional situation there, so you, Oh, that's not what you want. Okay, you're yeah, good. That can't yeah, get yeah. super punished though. Yeah, that that is the thing where like if you if you go far enough into the stage and like Puff is still on ledge, she won't be able to like really punish super hard. She might get a rest, maybe an aerial, but like, or, or she might get a grab or like an aerial, but nothing too crazy. Okay, makes sense. But yeah, this is gonna like that down throw up air shenanigans not gonna come for a long time on the stage. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit harder for uh, Bonfire to find her kills. Whereas uh, you know Puff just kind of doesn't really care about that. I think you 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 hit a you hit a slick down B and you know ooh really good on Tommy to not side B. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, yeah, good DI to kind of hit the stage. Okay, okay has yeah. Oh, kind of ambiguous. Doesn't matter though. Um, one of the things I, I think it's important defensively, it's a very simple concept, but you know, if people are watching and uh, trying to improve his Sheik, is uh, when you're the Sheik, you really want to be thinking about like always trying to consider whether you would die off the top or whether you should be like, are they gonna forward air or are they gonna up air? Because like, let's say you're on the left side of the stage and they forward air you to the right, then like, you want to be dying for the uh, up air, or for the forward air, because like the up air you're gonna die either way. Yeah, okay, Zelda's here. Actually not a bad matchup for Zelda, IMO. You think so? Yeah, it's like, it's not good, uh -oh. but like, yeah, it, it's basically back air versus back air. Didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, falling up air, yeah. Yeah, on platforms it's a little bit tricky because uh, because depending on where they are in the platforms, you, it, it'd be hard to like get a run input if they DI in, a, in certain scenarios. So uh, yeah, I do agree with that falling up air, even though couldn't get much off of it. Yeah, I think it's always you gotta weigh like, do I want the position or do I want the percent? Ooh, great chase what off stage! Wow, back that was uh, that was something special. She got them spider legs, like she got, she got really long legs. <laughs> yeah, she does. It's definitely definitely a strange look. She'd be beating out Mark with some of those moves. <laughs> some of Mark's moves. He got a whole sword. She, she do be doing that. Yeah, it's messed up. <laughs> All right. One of the things we noticed in this uh, game is just like there's been a couple scenarios where Bonfire has basically tricked Tommy by setting up needles to kind of interrupt and put Puff in lag, which he wasn't expecting. Uh, and so like needles are a huge part of the matchup in general because they kind of disrupt Puff's flow. But uh, you know, let's see if that kind of continues to play out because the Puff just isn't really expecting it. They're used to not having people interfere with that. So this is where you you DI for the up air because like if the forward air you're just you're yeah, you're just noted. Noted. yeah yeah it's like a small thing but yeah and she did miss the first up air but uh was able to get a second one okay yeah don't love the grab there but yeah i probably like an f smash would have been better but uh i think this is where you just play really slow in my opinion like you have the lead so it's just like you know trying to get build up damage i mean this is already a fantastic amount of damage 
if you can get it to a point where Puff has to trade if she dies, like two of the rest or something, not that rest is the main issue anyway. Not You're yet. In a much better spot. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, exactly. As soon as the stocks flip around, it is. Yeah, I will say uh, hey, one thing that uh, she does have to worry about pretty hard is that like even with all this percent, right? Like if if Tommy's able to get this kill, this is like very very doable, like extremely doable. Like it's, it's any so doable. any crouch like grab, any like you know any off stage like forcing them to go back on stage. Like you can get rested very easily. And uh, we're not necessarily in kill percent for the rest. You're, we're gonna need like an aerial or two, honestly. Yeah, but that's it. yeah, couldn't Great avoid getting back air. Yeah, yeah, no. no. I love that you point out that like. How how even that actually was? Oh yeah. it, it's a testament to how well Bonfire played that. Like that was 